Hi, this is Military Model Paul with a basically a carry on of the uh, U boats uh, build, the Rebel U boat in 172nd scale. And this is a, the Brazen, or oh, sorry, Brassin uh, kit for it, which is the 88 CM gun, and it's kit number 672034. And it is for the Rebel kit, as it says it there. And it's something to get. If I lift it up, you'll be able to copy these. If I just free, freeze frame, there you go. If you freeze frame, you'll basically be able to take any details you need off that. Now, I've undone the packet, and it comes in a packet like this. A uh, see-through packet, and it's like that, and I had to pull it apart. And I didn't want to do it because it would take, make, take me longer in the video. But there isn't too much to it, you just lift apart. Right, so anyway, so both we've got here, two pieces of paper. And... And that's all there is to it. And the actual build numbers are one, two, three, four. So there isn't much to the build, but it but there's more in it than in it, it looks. So because there's a lot of photo edits to come in, which I'm going to show you in a minute. So this is the actual instructions. And what we've got here basically is the optional parts. On the other side, sorry, I should have gone to the other side quickly first. Here we go. If I'll show you this. This is what you get on the back. It gives you all the parts that are need to be um, made up or, or taken off the um, the actual uh, blocks for the resin parts to build this model, and a little photo etch set. A little bit uh, upgrade, saying it's an upgrading kit, and all the bits and pieces contains enough the parts to deal the job. Also, then you've got a little list over it, and it shows you all the parts laid out. On, on a bit of a uh, blue uh, paper there, same as what it's up top, and that's what it looks like when it's finished. That's what it should look like, I should say. <laughs> Better say that. So what we're going to do is look over the other side. This is the first part of the build, and here we go. So basically, the red is what it means. And a little knife blade equals no. You've got to remove any all these red parts from the parts that are actually in this part number. So that's what it is, and that's the gun. I've got to remove that bit there. It should be straightforward because I've, but, if, and, but I will use a brand new scalpel for this. And if I think I need a new one afterwards, even if it seems a waste, I will do it again because I don't want to uh, ruin the, the parts. So remove that. So all these parts are a part of the build now. Then we go to A, and it's got a PE part, PE part, which is a PE. So that has to come off the PE set. That has to be bent, which is pretty straightforward, and applied to the resin parts. And the same on the B part B. So that's adding, adding resin parts to the part you've actually got out already. And then. This makes up this part here, and there's still some more bits. These, these are actually photo etch parts, uh, not photo etch, these are actually resin as well. And these are the parts you've just built up, they have to go on either side. This is part of the um, mechanism controlling the gun, obviously, with the handles and, and, and controlling it for firing and your general stuff. So it's all, all working controls here. Then you've got these parts that go together, and the little P, even though it's P, they're the brass handles that they turn the crew turns to either elevate the gun or to turn it around on its axis. And as far as I know, they did turn it on its axis with the actual uh, handle uh, with, the, with the cob working underneath. So that should be it. So this is pretty straightforward. You've got the barrel now. The barrel, I know, it's got a, um, an open ended barrel, so you can actually put this bit in the open position so that's actually folds down. It's got an end on it where they would pull it down and it'd be, be hanging underneath the gun ready for firing. This is obviously a waterproof plug, so once they close it up, it basically uh, protects the, the rifling inside the gun. Uh, and the breech work at the other end, in the breech and right down to the other end. Anyway, just to go back on it, and there's the actual breech block again, needs to be done. That's oh, R4, and that has to be cut off a block as well. So that's that. Then we go to number two, which is over, over here. I should put it on there. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, you can. And this is now Bill's basic near stairs. So that was the gun, building up the gun itself. And now we're actually on the, on the what I call the, um, the, the pedestal it goes on. And this, this is a bit that goes on the deck, so that's where it goes, and it's, this fits onto there. And obviously you've got all these handles, these are what the crew move, manipulate the gun with, and, and, and road, obviously raising gun, like we said earlier. All the controls and handhelds holds that actually the crew would use to actually fire in the gun. This bit here is PE, so there's a lot of PE again, very fine stuff, as you're going to see in a minute. So, and once you've done all these bits and pieces, and it's going to take its time, I mean it's a good, good evening's work, if not two, because I'm eating only have about two hours. And then you turn it over, and then you've got the last two bits, which is basically putting the part one's gun that you built earlier on on top of the actual um, completed um, gun gun base. So basically, that's it. And then you can put it in whatever either level or in a raised position. I'm going to put mine in the level, obviously, because mine will be uh, on the ship all the time. But because you can't actually have it moving, it's got to be put firmly in into position. So I think level of the deck is perfect for that. 
Then you've got this bit of wiring you've got to find, which is 0.2 millimeter wire that actually starts off in a little hole inside the actual gun gun base, and then runs around the barrel all the way up to the end, to the to the end here. And that's what that's there. That's there. So once you've done that, you've finished the gun. It's as simple as that. Now all I'm going to do now is quickly show you the parts, which is the FU. First thing I'm going to show you is the resin parts. I hope my hand's going to be steady, uh, but um, if I turn it around, give you more of an eye. It's on black, so it might be all right. I might have to turn it to get the light on it better. There you go. There you go. I think you can see it. I'm holding it as steady as I can, so I'm sorry if it is shaking a bit. But there you go. You can see all the breads much. You can see how small they are because here's my finger coming in. So they're quite small and that's down to it. So they're quite small as you can see. So that's the resin part. So you saw all the in the instructions. And then we go over to this bit, which is where the old resin parts. This was protected, it's well protected. I'm just going to show you briefly some of the parts. So I might even put it on that bit of black card, actually, it might be a better idea. It seems to, seems to be quite good. I'll just fucking keep it the sliding off. The detail is there. I'm only showing you one side, obviously, but you can see the block that has to come off the bottom. This is oh, this is a pedestal, and I'm going to do it this way because I think it'd be better. Oops. There you go, and that's a pedestal. I'll put it over there. This is a gun barrel. I'm not going to put anything into this now. Basically, oops, there's a gun barrel. Basically, there. I'm going to turn it. Let's try and hold it steady for you. And the barrel. It's quite a nice barrel when you think it's made of resin, it's good. Or brass in or whatever they want to call it. Yep, that's quite nice. And that as well. In fact, I might have fit a few details on me hand now. And there's the actual block, you can see that. Oh I'll tell you what, I'll do that first. Do these two. Breach block. No, getting too much shadow, sorry. I'm going to have to, might be able to bring that down further actually and do it down lower. I can. Oh, learning all the time. Sorry about this, gentlemen. Well, here we go. There it is. Ah, oh, look at that, look, see. And there is the actual part we're talking about. Learn something about my camera now. There you go. So, there you go. Details really good and crisp. I think you can see that. Really crisp. So that over there, and this is the block breech block. On its block, is it? <laughs> a breech block on a block. There you go. There you go. Even got a part number on it, so you can't go wrong really. There you go, and I'll bring this back over again. You should see it better now. There she is. Need a really sharp razor saw for this. Gun barrel again. But this time I think you can see there's a lot of detail on it. It's really nice. So, and there's the barrel. Which is good. And we've got a few more parts. Basically this is straightforward now. This is the handles. Got the cut kit part numbers there. Trying to get it so you can see the numbers, but uh, obviously it's going to be hard to do that. But I can see them very clearly on there, so that's okay. And then some more little bits, very fine, but they're resin. You can see how good they are, and you can see the part numbers there. I think you can actually see if I do that. That's that one. And some more. This is uh, some more parts. They are fine, but the details are really nice. Oh, this is the um, elevation element of the gun, and I think you can see that. And you see the little cutout, I don't know if you remember the instructions, you can see a little cutout that's got to be there. It's, but it's very fine moulding on that, very good. And that is the same as the other bits, that's just, oh no, it's not, not a repeat, so there you go. Details, and 
some more bits of the details of the gun very small very small indeed so there you go and that all comes in this little pack as I said earlier on so it goes in there so I'm going to put it all back in there for now loosely I don't, I'm not going to worry about closing it up so if I bring it back up again I keep forgetting I, I can come down really close with this camera and, uh, and it still stays in focus a lot better than what my normal camera did I used to use before this so there you go and put that out there Right, so oh, that's the detail. That's the photo etch. I might be able to come down and get a better shot of that actually. Get it right round round. It helps. There we go. So you can get really the numbers on it. There you go. So that's all the brass bits. You can see how fine they are. So if I put my pointy stick here, there you go. They are small but they're really worth the part. I think it's going to look nice. Just need to take my time. Like I said, I'll be using my uh, my Gator glue on this one. And also, the, for when I finished, I took a little, little drop of this glue over it as well. And because you can see how liquidy that is just by looking at that. So really nice. So I'm, I'm going to be using that. It might, I mean, you need the liquid one. It, it all depends. But anyway, thank you very much for watching that. So I'm just going to bring that back out. Or I might even just do this. There you go, if I pull that out. There you go, I think that's good. That is the actual, um, the actual is what I'm going to be building in the next few days. And also then I'll be getting on with the 2CM one, which is part of the kit. But I have got a brass barrel for that, so it will have a little bit of extra detail. So anyway, thank you for much watching. And this is still part of my U-boat uh, build in 170 seconds scale, but it's just the extra gun I got it. And I've still got the kit parts of the other one, just in case this goes wrong. Hopefully, fingers crossed, legs crossed and arms crossed. And obviously not when I'm building it, it should come out all right. Thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. Happy modeling.